On the graves In the cracks of a thousand leaves Somewhere in between Our past and our future Rolling over All the dividing things so good evening and welcome back to another video. Now I've come out on a bit of a whim, a bit spare the moment, unplanned. I wasn't going to come out shooting, I certainly wasn't going to come out vlogging, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. Coming down to the woods, golden hour is underway, we've got a nice clear sky so we're going to get some nice backlit stuff and some nice side lit stuff and I'm quite looking forward to it. So let's go get stuck in and go take some photographs from the woods tonight. Cool. <laughs> So the spot that I've chosen to do this in, it has what I would call a westerly open edge. As in, the sun's right there, you can probably see by how bright my face is and I'm squinting a little bit, that this area of woodland behind me is going to catch all that dying light and that's my hope for tonight's video. Now I've had a bit of a brainwave, I've had, I've had a strange sort of idea here. I've got the Canon 1D Mark III with me, okay? and I've attached my 16 to 35 millimeter lens to it. Now, not a combination you would maybe associate with woodland photography. I don't know, I certainly wouldn't. So I thought, well, hell, let's not give it a go. Let's try and cram as much in as we can, but at 2.8 as well, we may be able to get some, some shallowish depth of fields, I don't know. So I'm gonna hang around here because I think I've seen something. I just need to work on it a little bit and then I'll pick it up uh, once we're ready to start taking a photograph. So it's gonna be 1D Mark III and 16 to 35, and sunset, springtime, woodland, photography. Cool, let's go. All right, so I scrapped that last idea. It was stupid. So I've put the 105 millimeter 2.8 macro lens on. And um, what I'm doing, the sun is literally right in front of me. Um, I'm shooting between two trees that are kind of making a V shape, and I'm blaring off into oblivion another tree in the background, which is being backlit by the sun in an essentially overexposed sky and i think it looks really quite cool so let's look at some settings i'm at f6.3 iso 100 and a 250th of a second now i have a slight problem with the fact that the sun is there and despite the fact that this lens does have a lens hood i'm still getting a little bit of lens flare so i found the best way that i can do this is to essentially Using the live view on the back of this camera, I can put my hand out in front of it and stop the lens flare there and then ride the shutter like that. So I will throw that photograph on the screen for you to see and then we'll find something else to take a photograph of. And I'm thinking it maybe will be more backlit skies and trees and stuff like that because I quite like that look sometimes. So here's the image, let's see what else there is. essentially sacked the tripod off now um it's just a little bit too it's a little bit too cumbersome for this kind of stuff i'm trying to keep nice and low to the ground and sort of shoot across the base of the trees where all this grass is being illuminated by the now very very low sun so there's a tree just in front of me it's a white tree and it kind of forks off into two different directions and i'm kind of going for the same the same look that i had last time a very overexposed sky something out of focus silhouetted in the background against the tree and the grass that's been illuminated by the sun. So, I'm having to put myself right up against this tree just to eliminate some of the lens flare if I can. Um, so I'm focusing on the white tree. I'm keeping 
I think it's the same tree as the last photo, aren't we? I'm keeping that tree just out of focus in the corner, and there is a fence post just coming in to the other side of the shot. Uh, I'll try and get some of the grass in in the foreground as well. There we go, focus on the tree. What are we at? That's, oh, God, we slipped. That's no good, is it? Uh, an eight hundredth of a second f2.8, and I saw 100. Focus on the tree, keeping the fence post in and the tree in the background, and fire off a burst of them. Let me check this on the camera. Yeah, so that seems to have given me the look I was hoping for, so I will show you that photo. And then I'm going to get off, off the floor, get my legs in, and maybe find another one. blind uh, you know sometimes you may forget that you're shooting through a DSLR and not a mirrorless camera um, the wee macro shot that I took and then the silhouette sun tree shot that I took are looking straight at the sun through a DSLR is painful and um, use live view please I did turn it on in the end but yeah that really hurts so I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did uh, I had a bit of a, a bit of a brain moment there so I did turn live view on in the end I took several silhouette shots different points of focus focusing on the sun focusing on the trees just to see what sort of effect we can get with that so i'm not going to get a wider view of the trees from where i am using this lens the only lens that i have that's probably capable of getting that photograph you're looking through it right now and i don't really want to go changing that lens that's my 24 to 105 millimeter lens it's probably the ideal lens for this but i don't really want to go chopping and changing and then have to stick the 16 to 35 on there and everything will be super wide and super super overexposed even more so than it is right now so yeah um i'm looking at me scrap the woods there's a wind turbine over there i quite like the way it's glistening in that light and it's been framed by a tree so let's take a photograph of that you notice how sometimes i put my hat on backwards i think it makes me look like i know what i'm doing does it? I don't know. I think I look cool with hats on backwards. Right, wind turbine framed through trees. So there's three trees right in front of me and there's the wind turbine. I'm going to focus on the wind turbine and I'm going to use a slightly narrow aperture of f3.5 purely just to let some light in. And I also want to blare the trees out a little bit and really focus in on that wind turbine. So I'm going to go vertical for this one. So I focused on the wind turbine. Uh, let's have a look at some exposure settings. F3.5, ISO 200, and a 500th of a second. Wow. Let's see what happens. That doesn't look terrible. Uh, the trees are out of focus, and there's some little, little highlights on the side of the trees as well. So I'll throw that on the screen for you to see, and then we're possibly going to wrap this video up because it's late. I've been up since quarter past five and it's now just nearly quarter to eight at night. So here's the wind turbine image and then I think we'll say goodbye. So thank you very much for watching tonight's very impromptu video. Um, I've had some nice light tonight and I'm sort of fingers crossed I may have 
one or two nice images to boot as well. Um, I noticed as I was putting my stuff away in my camera bag, there was some little red ticks crawling all over my camera bag and Numbnuts here was laid on the grass taking photos where the ticks live. So when I get home and get in the bath, uh, things may get interesting. I really hope not. Ticks are just gross little things, aren't they? So anyway, so thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help the video out and it brings new viewers to my channel. And if you liked it more than that, there's a subscribe button down there. You can always press that and you'll see more nonsense like this from me in the future. So until the next time, I'm going to say peace and goodbye.